PPL fans, welcome to another iteration of the Pokemon Premier League transfers. We're very close to the last week. This is almost the last week. Next week would be the last one. And the, the coaches keep seeming to do a lot of changes still. Because uh, this season, the PPL will have basically allowed to, to, to do a lot of transfers, right? To, you know have different teams, try different stuff, or to fix teams that are pretty much broke, right? So this is where we are at the moment, right? Uh, if you thought you've done quite a bit of uh, team changes so far, uh, this is nothing, you know? Because uh, this week is pretty insane, and next week whew, is the last one, so it's al it always goes pretty crazy. So um, I hope you're ready, you know? This would be for week uh, five, right? So right before uh, week six matches, right? And uh, I hope you're excited because we have some, some changes here. So to start with, we have once again a classic, you know, we have uh, a classic on this uh, on this program, I guess, right? On this series. It's none other than Wonsi, Bayonet, Alex. I'm not even sure if he has like trades left to do anymore after this. I don't think so. I think he's done. He, 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 did, he changed his team so many times that we don't even know what is this, right? Uh, and he has decided to uh, trade Pelipper for Politoed, right? Uh, for um, Josh Weavile, with Josh Weavile. We will see about him later. Uh, but they exchange uh, rain setters. Interesting. I must say that I do. I think Politoed is a little bit underrated, even though this this generation is a bit nerfed. It's much better than it seems in draft, in my opinion. It has some pretty tanky stats, and I think uh, removing the the fly, flying type is what Wanzi is trying to look for here. So let's see what uh, you know. Just to have that, um, like that rain team you know you just have that that rain team still that rain option uh, but you know with a different sort of weaknesses going, right and then it also has dropped raichu for Lur and lorantis you know raichu um it's a shame to see him go it was a cool uh, it was a cool terror captain to to be fair so now he's gonna have a new one though and uh, and then lorantis he's never kind of you know managed to find the the grass time did he uh, he tried his best to find a correct grass type with lower tier points, but Lorantis without Terra, that didn't come too far. We kind of we kind of expected it, right? We kind of expected it. But what has he picked, you know, to kind of fix this? Well, but he has uh, changed uh, Pelipper because he's picking a much better uh, flying type, right? I think, and one of the new Terra captains, you know, is going for uh, first Galarian Articuno. Magnificent uh, Pokemon, especially since it's one of the Terra Captains. We're going to talk about it right after. And then he's also going to pick the browner skinned uh, Raichu with a little on Raichu. Look at that, you know? And getting extra coverage moves. Um, getting the, you know, working pretty nice on Rain regardless. But, uh, you know, that, that does change the team a little bit, right? So the grass type idea, we have abandoned this, okay? We have abandoned this. It's over. Plus, um, with the terror typings, you will see it uh, right now that the Alolan Raichu is gonna have the grass type as one of its terrors, apart from the classic electric and ice for all the electric types, right? And then we're gonna have Galarian Articuno as well with flying. Uh, with this, it has the potential to do uh, flying spam, right? Hurricanes uh, with a rain, you know, support, which is really good. And then fairy type for other situations, right? In you, in which. Uh, the Articuno would give, uh, would pretty much get pretty important resistances uh, to set up much easier. So, uh, very nice trades. Let's see if they can work for next week. I'm excited to see some Galarian Articuno action, even though some people do say it's a fraud. It's just a matter of hitting the Hurricanes. And Alex does have that rain support, so perhaps this is gonna go well. And now the second coach that has decided to make massive changes. I think these are have been the bigger um, like one-time changes for one week that a trainer has done. Uh, just Weavile has joined us, you know, uh, Jack with uh, a lot of changes, a lot of changes. Uh, so it's exactly one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six changes. Oof. Six drops. That's not uh, Jack Weavile. That's his name. Has decided to go and drop pretty big things too, right? He has dropped um, Corviknight. 
He's got Florida, a pretty decent, right? All around fairy, too. Uh, Viresion, Komala, Fracture. Yo, Fracture Gaming is over. And Mighty Yena as well. I can't believe my Yena is gone, too, right? Of course, Politoed um, is, you know, leaving the team as well, since, as we said, uh, it's training it for uh, Pelipper. But uh, look at this. This is a full team change, right? The backbone on the team with Kovina and Florg is gone. Verizion, uh, I can understand it a little bit. It's a good Pokemon. It's pretty cheap uh, for the stats it's got, but it's hard to kind of make it work, right? It's not the... It's more of a fighting type than a grass type, right? Uh, so, and then we, you know, I understand, you know, leaving Fracture, leaving Mariana, both of them without Terra. Uh, it's a shame to see them go, to be honest, because I did like them, but uh, we've seen a fair bit of uh, Fracture and Mariana gaming already, so not bad at all, you know. And the team is gonna be improved, right? So he gets Pelipper from Alex, as we mentioned, but then he's also gonna be picking Klefki, he's gonna be picking Noivern, Ursaring, Crafty as well as Bramblecast. Look at that, dude. Klefki, premium support mon, uh, prankster annoyance, and, uh, you know, a good mon all around to have. I don't like it personally, but I know it's, it's pretty good, honestly. And then he's got uh, Noivern right there. Uh, looking quite nice, and he's gonna be one of the new Terra Captains of the team, because he's also gonna be uh, changing the Terra Captains he's got. It's pretty crazy changes, you'll see it right after. And then he's also gonna be picking Ursaring, he's gonna be picking Scrafty, uh, both of them without Terra, with... Uh, I don't know if they're gonna work that well, to be honest, uh, but remains to be seen. And lastly, uh, we got Bramble Gas, which is a premium support mod, no matter what people says. It's very cheap. You got, you got, you know, it's not a mod that's gonna be doing massive things, but you normally it's gonna be doing what it needs to, right? Set up spikes, spin, and die. That's not bad, you know. That is not that bad. So, and speed block, right? Uh, so it, it isn't too bad. It's a better grass type, quote unquote, than Verizion was. And then the Terras, look at this, we got Noivern, as the first Terra Captain, looking very, very strong. That's a really good Pokemon, Noivern in general, but if you can have it Terra, incredible. Flying, you know, it's got the flying type just to, as well, do that flying stat, uh, spam like Alex, without, uh, I know, with the rain support, right, because he's got Pelipper right now, so... Uh, looking good, <laughs> looking good. And then normal for those classics, uh, boom burst spamming, uh, you know with Neuvern. Uh, really, really good. Really good stuff. It only is allowed two types, because uh, if not, uh, it would have been quite a uh, stronger Pokemon, not gonna lie. So, uh, I think it's it's based like that. And then we have Espeon as the second Terra Captain. Really good Terra Captain as well. We've seen uh, previous coaches, other coaches before that used it pretty well, uh, but he has decided to go with Fairy and with Fire types. Uh, fairy, classic setup, uh, you know, SP on Terra type. It gets Raining Keys to get it more powerful. It gets Dazzling Gleam to do a lot of damage. So, it is a good it is a good choice, not gonna lie. And um, then we do have the Fire type. That is interesting. I'm pretty sure Espeon gets uh, Mystical Fire. I think it's called like that, right? And uh, that's gonna be doing more damage with that. And I think he's gonna go for off it with this typings, right? Because... I don't see much other utilities for fire apart from, of course, hitting the, the steel type. So maybe it's got something planned uh, for next weeks, you know? Maybe he's got a matchup in which this Espeon with the fire type is actually kind of neat. So we're going to be seeing it, we're going to be seeing it. And we do have another team that's coming back once again in this series, which is none other than the Immunity Idols with Mounte. Uh, he's going to be picking up, uh, he's going to be doing some swaps, you know. Last uh, transfers were not very successful, to be honest, right? He drafted Suicune, he drafted Gogot, they're gone now. They're gone. They didn't last a thing. And then also, he's going to be removing Quillfish, which is a very good draft mod, honestly. That's what I think, anyways. Uh, but... Uh, it makes sense with the picks he's made, right, as you can see. Uh, and then Electric is also gone, uh, losing the two Terra Captains, Gogot and Electric. Uh, we already seen all, as well Electric Gaming, which I am happy with, so this is pretty much as as, uh, you know, as we could have done. It's good that he tried it, it was awesome to see. And, you know, Electric's got some win cons, uh, you know, win under his belt. And he removes Tricon and Quillfish, Double Watcher. 
uh, with poison to pick tentacle so one mon kind of doing both things can still set up the toxic spikes as, as quillfish could uh, but also gets the ability to to spin right and has a pretty decent speed and uh, so after the tentacle was called a fraud by the mafia it's been picked up very quickly by his rival team uh, you know the immunity idol so maybe they want to have some sort of uh, you know redemption arc for tentacle here happening uh, so anything can happen, you know, with Nante. Uh, we've seen some some sets during his career, if you can call it that. So very interesting. Is going to be picking a chestnut as well to cover the spikes that Quillfish can can do. Also gaining a fighting type in the process and a new Terra Captain with Probopass. Probopass is the last pick, and this is the Terra Captain's uh, typings he has chosen. Right? It's going to go with Steel, Ground, Fighting, and Ghost. Very interesting terror typings. I'm surprised not to see like uh, fairy, for example, or poison. But uh, steel is there, you know, just to not be quad weak to certain moves. Ground just give it uh, pretty much a ability to trap other typings, right? Other steel types with uh, with the magnet paw uh, plus, you know, the ground uh, type, right? As for other steels, it's pretty good. On fire, could work too. Uh, but I think ground is better because you're not weak to ground as the regular proper pass uh, is, right? And then fighting, just to you know, do a lot of damage with the very powerful uh, body presses. And last but not least, ghost spin blocking capabilities, apart from covering the fighting weakness very nicely. So uh, those are awesome changes, you know. Uh, proper pass is kind of is kind of like a bastion as well, right? So they kind of do similar things a little bit. Uh, so I'm excited to see them uh, both being drafted and being terra captains in the same league this season it's awesome then we do have one last uh big you know team change i guess there's a couple of them still uh, i told you there's quite a bit so we're gonna go with once again seabat uh, coming into the series once again he's gonna be dropping hatrine intellion fortress and that's about it you know fortress hasn't made it long enough, you know, Steel has to be the fraud allegations, right? Fraud allegations once again thrown into Fortress. Um, Inteleon, that's a little bit of, uh, you know, of a drama situation, right? Because it's, uh, I've been noticed that the, whims the you know, the Whimsicots from Matthew Drafts were interested in swapping that mon uh, to Seabat, and he said, absolutely not, just to drop it later. <gasps> How could that be possible? Is really nothing of value on Matthew's team for Seabat? It really seems like way. Uh, I guess it's understandable since he's not doing too well. So, uh, Intellion is gone, right? One of the Terra Captains too. One of a, a very good mon in draft league. Much better than in like in regular smoke and too. So, it's good to see. Uh, you know, it's, it's rare to see this Pokemon swap, but it makes sense, you know? Because he's going to be picking Hisui and Gudra, uh, Cleavor and Frostmoth, and Frostmoth is the Terra Captain, but uh, Shiba just basically went crazy and decided to just make a Hisui sort of base team, it seems. Uh, he has almost all Hisui and Mons in his team, that's pretty funny to me. So, he's a, he's a fan of the old tricks, like ancient tricks even, and Frostmoth, as I mentioned, is gonna be the new Terra Captain with Terra Water, covers the Fire of Ignis, you know, sensationally you could say <laughs> and then ground to have fantastic mammoth wine coverage with the ice typing very very good stuff honestly very good stuff and i'm excited to see some frost moth action a frost moth is super good uh if you can tear it uh, to be honest so uh, he's planning on do going set up crazy this next week and i am here for it you know what i'm saying i am here for it Lastly, we have one new team as well in this uh, in this series, which is uh, none other than Iron uh, Buffin with the Rhydons. Oh yeah, he's going to be making some swaps as well. And uh, that's going to be the last of the kind of drops and picks, right? But later on, we have a couple of terror changes, but he's going to go and drop Vaporeon. Hi, guys, did you know that he's going to be dropping Vaporeon? He's going to be dropping as well Ambipom and Tropius. Tropius and Ambipom understandable you know uh without the terra why right why even are they there i understand tropius it has the you know chlorophyll but the speed is trash anyway so it's not going to be outspeeding anything even our plus two speed and it's just tropius it's only one point it's not good and abipom yeah i guess with the terra you have a, a lot of potential there the speed is good damage is good but it's just never consistent enough right i think and i think buffin sees it and he's looking for a much better normal type with the dance first. Now, that's a good Pokemon right there. And you know, Fortress beats once again the fraud allegations because it found a home very, very quick. Uh, so, 
Congratulations, Fortress, for surviving another whip, uh, you know, and not uh, being abandoned on the streets of Draft City, <laughs> Draft City once again. Uh, yeah. And then to finish up today's episode, we do have a couple of Terra changes. We mentioned Matt before, uh, Matthew Drafts is going to be changing uh, something that he should have done before. To be honest, uh, he's going to be picking with Electrifier, he's going to change the electric type uh, Terra types that he's got to Ice, right? And that makes just sense, right? I think maybe he wanted to try very powerful Super Shell Slams, um, not sure what he was trying to do with that, but uh, you know, you gotta have your Ice Terra type with your Electrics, right? Or the Grass, right? Um, anything of the sort. Uh, so he has decided to finally give up to the meta, I guess, and uh, now it's ice. And the last change that we got, uh, it's Nexus coming back as well to fix one of the Tauros Terra types. The Grand type was nice, but uh, you can never go wrong with Stab Terra, you know, Terra Normal Tauros, right? That thing's a demon, that thing's a demon, and hope Nexus can bring it back uh, with Tauros and the Stabby attacks it's got, right? So, we did it! We did it. That's gonna be that's gonna be it. You know. Thank you very much for following the transfer so far. Next week's gonna be the last one, and uh, it's gonna be nuts once again. Lots of changes. Lots of me talking and doing graphics for them, and uh, you know I love them so much. But uh, they need to draft better. You know. They 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 want to experiment so much. Why don't they experiment with their uh, bodies? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm, <laughs> I'm rambling and I don't need to go. All right, see you guys on the matches, which are going to be happening tomorrow. Let's hope. All right, see you guys.